Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. I'm having so much fun with this series. I love it. I've done it every year since 2013 when I joined. And this is today's project. It's a little tea bag matchbook. Look at that. There's a tea bag inside there. That's so cute. I was rummaging through my inspiration drawers. I've got some drawers just, just down here to the right of me and they've got, oh, everything in. Seriously, there is just all sorts in here St loads in this drawer next to me and i was rummaging look that's an old project of mine oh i need to gift that to somebody um but yeah in this drawer i have lots of tea bags um or i came across some tea bags i should say and i thought oh, that'd be nice for a little gift now these ones have got the english tea shop uh tea bags in which i mean i don't drink tea it's weird warm stuff but they come as nice individual wrapped packets twinings will also fit this project as will neil's yard organic summer tea that will fit i think that's all the tea different varieties of tea bags i've got um did I, oh i did twinings oh that's another twinings one that's a little bit smaller that probably needs to go in the bin um but you get the point individually wrapped tea bags will fit in this project and it's a little matchbook so i wanted to show you how to make it piece of this was cherry cobbler i'm going to go with shaded spruce card so that's seven and a half by three and a quarter inches 19 by eight centimeters and oh let's get that the right way around you're only scoring on the long side and you score it at three and a quarter inches and six and three quarter inches which in metric is 8 and 17. And that's all you do, scoring. Simple as that. Oops. Okay. And then burnish one. And you can see there's a nice little gap there, and that's designed deliberately. And burnish that one, and it's going to tuck inside. Now, when you come to staple it, because you do need to do that, don't staple it with the inner part in because you might inadvertently staple that closed but keep your staples as close to the bottom as you can possibly get away with okay and you can see there will be no oh, actually that probably would work as well um doing that and then you can eyeball it but it will mean it will stay shut it won't even try and open and you can pop your tea bag in there we'll come to that in a minute Right, little panel, this is not cut to the right size at all. <laughs> I need this to be three by three inches, seven and a half centimetres by seven and a half. I get my stuff out, I prep it in advance. On the odd occasion, I will make a project entire, in, in, I can't speak, in its entirety, like I did on Wednesday's project, without doing any cut or prep in advance other times I do so three by three inches seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters and it's going to go on this flap that's going to tuck inside okay then tea bag in and I would suggest popping a little glue dot on the back will help to keep it in place you don't want you know tea bags falling out do you you know runaway tea these would make a good craft fair seller. They would also make a nice, a nice tea sort. You know, if you had a cup and saucer um, for Christmas Day after dinner, tuck one of those in. If you, you know, if you've got space on your table, very nice. Right. So I'm using Christmas trimmings dies. And the tidings and trimmings stamp set because I like that bit across there. Wishing you a joyful Christmas and happy new year. So I'm going to stamp that one as well. But I want to die cut. And much like on Monday's project, I'm using this beautiful speciality metallic paper that I I gave a pack of this to every single person who shopped with me last month. You get eight in a pack for each of the two colours. I'm going to go with gold on this one. So let me just eyeball how much I'm going to need. I find that just really helps. 
and then I know it's going to fit because I love my mini cut and emboss I would be devastated if I no longer had it okay so this one 100% you need to have this die face up right I'm just going to get this is from where I made the sample you have got to have this die face upright and you've got to turn your paper that way around otherwise it just it's not going to cut um, just because of the type of paper that it is and I'm very pleased I've got brand new plates or almost new plates because I can see straight away that's cut through oh you can't because the lights just tipped on it um, that has cut all the way through but I'm going to come back because and I don't know how to explain it it's very slightly fibrous um, you can cut it and rip it but I it just sort of yeah it wants to stay together right so that's that one cut and then I want the outer square and I want a spare bit of shaded spruce can start aligning it all up but I need my um, bristle brush thingy I love the take your pick um, it's got all the bits you need it really has I mean I've got a couple on the go I've taken off the um, I don't know what you call it putty yeah the putty I've taken that end off that just because I don't use it um, I use these all the time and actually I use them loose you've probably seen me do it in a couple of videos I just have that end um, and they live like that on my desk <laughs> right okay so let's get these glued <clears throat> so I'm going to take a blob of glue on the end on the tip of my multi-purpose glue and then I'm just going to dab it in little places where I've got some space oh drop it <laughs> ooh that looks lovely over the green doesn't it let's hold that down put my brush away before I stick it to something that looks so lovely on the green oh I liked it on the red I love it on the green okay let's find a bit of whisper wine have I got a bit of, I thought I had a bit of whisper wine what have I done with it mm. I don't know let's get some from the scraps that been behind me not exactly a scrap but that's okay Okay, wishing you a joyful Christmas and a happy new year. What a nice thing to say to somebody. And this measures up at three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to trim my whisper white down to three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to stamp to one side with shaded spruce. We just, you know, let's go colour matchy matchy because it works. And although that piece of cardstock was way too long, what have I got stuck to me? Oh, <laughs> everything. It's far too long, but I wanted to get a good amount. I'm going to cut that off about there. And then a banners picker punch. Slide it in, just double check it's centered. Oh, <laughs> I did the wrong one. 
Let's try that again and hope it doesn't trash it. Oh, look at that. It's fine. <laughs> you never know. And I'm going to layer these on now. So I'm going to get my little star. Actually, quite a big star, to be fair. And I want it to go a very a tiny little bit over here just a tiny bit not that it stops it popping open but just because i like it <laughs> no, I don't think I, I need a reason i just liked the aesthetic of it okay and then we get that over there and like i say you know if you had a nice teacup and saucer Pop that in there. Well, you could have a little bowl of them. Oh, I haven't got a bowl on my desk. You have a little bowl of them and, and somebody could just, you know, you could have a whole selection of them. And people could choose. You could have, you could colour theme them. So peppermint could be in green, which that one is. And I believe that's a peppermint one as well. It is. <laughs> but you could have different flavours and the different colours. You can make a little hot chocolate station with tea bags too. Or just gift them. I really like them. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.